Recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Secretary James and uh, General Spillman, uh, I think everyone on this committee recognizes the extraordinary uh, pressure that you're under, uh, the flooding across the nation from the uh, West Coast all the way to the East Coast and everything in between. We appreciate your service. We appreciate the uh, challenge that you face. Uh, I will draw your attention to the reality of change and that the uh, way in which we have conducted uh, flood operations in the past has been based on historic situations. We're no longer in such a situation. There's a project that's been ongoing in California now for several years uh, called the uh, Forecast Informed Reservoir Operations Program. I draw the attention of the committee to that. This is based upon real-time information that's now available from satellites and other technologies that are available. And we appreciate uh, the implementation of that on the rivers in California, and I suspect it may be applicable across the nation. Now, I have a whole series of questions that I'm just going to submit for the record. No use taking the time of the committee or your time here today, uh, Secretary James. Uh, projects uh, in California in the Sacramento Valley do thank you for coming out, both of you, for coming out and observing uh, what we're doing in the Central Valley. Interesting article in the Sacramento Bee. If the same downpour that hit Washington were to hit the uh, American River, water would be 30 feet deep in Sacramento. So we know we have problems across the nation. Um, specifically, General Spellman, uh, Section 204 uh, and Section 1043 provide flexibility for local agencies to conduct programs. Without going into the detail, could you please explain why the Corps is so reluctant to move aggressively using these authorities to uh, devolve programs and construction to the local agencies? Sir, I, um, I would say we, we do want to aggressively use them. We, we are after anything, any authority or capability that will allow us to, as the Secretary would say, move dirt or uh, get to construction or complete projects uh, quicker. So, sir, if there are examples in, 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 your, uh, in your district where we're not doing that, we would like to know and take action. We will so inform you. Uh, there has been a reluctance to uh, move forward aggressively using these uh, programs, and uh, if that were to happen, projects would be completed quicker, possibly sooner. I can give you one specific example on the uh, Feather River, where the Corps did not allow the local agency to undertake the project. It would, would have saved significant money. Probably an issue for uh, the rest of the nation as you deal with the flooding that's occurring in the Midwest. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I do draw the attention of the committee to the reality of change and the necessity for the uh, flood operations to reflect the new reality and to use uh, information that is, readily, that is now available from uh, multiple uh, areas, satellites to other technologies. With that, I yield back. Thank you, Mr.